In this presentation, we're going to look at item adjustments for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So we'll go to the warehouse inventory, item journals, and first we're going to remove things. So we go put negative adjustment, enter the item, the location, the quantity, and if you use a bin, you enter a bin, but here we don't. We enter a reason code and we post. So three items damaged have been removed. If you want to add some items, you select positive adjustment. And in the same way, location, quantity, and you can put a reason code or not. So let's post. At Match Business Solution, we have removed the purchase and sales in the item journal, so it's either positive or negative. And we have prevented to put a negative quantity, because if you put negative adjustment with a negative quantity, it would increase your stock. And second, in the reason code, we have added a filter to just to see the inventory related reason codes instead of the full list. If you use advanced warehousing, you would use the warehouse item journal. That works in the same way, but difference you need to select the journal for your location and you would enter a bin and quantity if it's increasing stock it's plus and if it's decreasing stock there is no negative so it would be a minus once you've done it with the advanced warehousing with the warehouse item journal there is a second step you will need to go to the item journal Action, calculate warehouse adjustment and post it so that this um, adjustment is reflected in the item ledger entries.